Welcome friends, Namaskar. Let us discuss a very important point popularly known as contribution or contribution margin. As we are well aware that in marginal costing technique, first we have to segregate the total cost into two parts. One is known as variable cost and the remaining part is fixed cost. Variable costs are generally the cost which are directly relevant to the production activity and mostly the fixed costs are based on time. Now in marginal costing, first we write off only variable cost from our sales revenue. From our sales revenue, first we write off the variable cost and the balancing amount that is the excess of sales revenue over the variable cost is known as contribution or contribution margin. So we can define the contribution margin in the words that the excess of sales revenue over the variable cost is contribution or contribution margin. Now from contribution margin we write off our fixed cost and the remaining amount or excess of contribution over fixed cost is known as profit. In the terms of financial accounting, we know this is the profit before interest and tax before we do not consider interest and taxes as a part of cost according to our costing principles. So the concept of contribution can be taken from two angles. First, excess of sales revenue over the variable cost is contribution and another angle is the contribution margin recovers fixed cost as well as profit. This diagram shows the structure of sales, that means sales revenue. Sales revenue is ultimately made up of these elements. Variable cost and fixed cost, these two combined are known as total cost. Total cost plus profit is our sales revenue. Now according to marginal costing what happens? The total cost is segregated into two parts, variable cost and fixed cost. From sales revenue, if we write off variable cost, this much, that means excess of sales revenue is contribution. From contribution, we write off fixed cost. So ultimately, the remaining amount that is excess of contribution over fixed cost is known as profit. In marginal costing, contribution is a very, very, very important concept. At the time of price determination, we always have to consider the golden rule that the price should be sufficient to earn that much contribution which is sufficient to recover fixed cost as well as earn profit. So at the time of price determination contribution becomes the critical concept. Not only that, in many Specific types of decision making situation also the contribution is a very important concept. Let us take an example of a product line made up of two or more products and any one product is not performing well at least as compared to the other remaining products. Some directors or some managers propose that we should drop that product. Is it so easy? Not at all. The product which is not performing well, first the, we have to get the answer of the question that is that product earning a contribution? If so, then there is no need to discontinue that product. We should discontinue any product only if the contribution margin we are going to lose because of the discontinuation of that product is recovered from the additional sales of the other remaining products. But there is um, say a very advanced point, I should not discuss it at this stage. But the golden rule about the contribution and performance of the product is that as far as a product gives good contribution, its sales should be encouraged. So, our first aim is to earn sufficient amount of contribution so that we can recover our fixed cost from the contribution margin and earn sufficient profit. That's all. Thank you very much.